you don't thank him as if you are pressurized to do so. You thank him from the bottom of your heart. You smile, you laugh, you show him that the Lord really appreciates you. Somewhere in the Bible, the Bible says that because you refuse to thank the Lord, he will make you to be subjected to him. For if you seek to give thanks to the Lord, what does it cost to say, Lord, I thank you? He has protected you, he has provided for you, he's been defending you, so Alpha and Omega. That is the most high God. Somebody shout hallelujah. Make sure you make it an act of today to always say thank you, Father. Whenever you wake up in the morning, you say, Lord, I thank you. When your children come back from school or you go somewhere and come back, you say, Lord, I thank you. But there are people that went out and never came back. There are people that went out, they were kidnapped, they were abducted, they were shot and they were killed. But you, you are alive. Why don't you just say, Lord, I thank you? You are marvelous. Can somebody sing with me?
they saw put you. There are some of us here, we came from a background that is very terrible. But now they may have sacrificed you, they may have done the terrible that demons. But that grace covered you. That grace protected you. That grace protected your children. That grace saw you through last year to this year. And it's saying that. Jesus, the Bible says number one, he followed him. For all the blessings 
that God has given you, God expects you to follow Jesus. Not only to take the blessing and go back. No, you follow me in the morning. You follow me in the evening. You follow me for the rest of your life. You don't have to come to church because you have problems. You have to follow him because he's the owner of your life. Look at the second miracle. Glorifying God. Let every blessing that God will give you glorify him. God will never give you a blessing that will not glorify him. And if God knows you are going to abuse the blessing, no matter how hard you fast and pray, he will not use it. There are blessings that when God gives you, even the people who accuse God of giving you the blessing, and say, God, before you gave him this blessing, he has been consistent in church. Now that you give him the blessing, he's no longer in church. Now that you give him the admission, now that you give him the baby, now that you give him the job, now that he has started, he is no longer with you. God will never allow a blessing in your life that will make you backslide. So when you are praying for anything and it is not going yet, check your motives. Check it. If that blessing will leave you from Christ, it will not give it to you. Somebody shout hallelujah. Glorifying God. And all the people, when they saw it, gave praise to God. The people too were also affected. The people just started giving praise to God because of the blessing that you receive. This year, 2023, because of the blessing you will receive, your neighbors and your friends and your enemies, they will glorify God. In the name of Jesus. And we are the back of the that law. Even when you do what I ask you to do, I will not leave you. That blessing, that miracle, that child, that marriage will not pull me back from you. You know there are people when they are believing God for something, they will come regularly to church. You will find them in every program. But when that thing is done, you will have to be taken in there. Hello, program are you? <laughs> it is this job. Hello, are you? Hey. And God will give them a little space to repent if they know that blessing can become a cause. Because God will know enough people to tell him why did you do this to this man? So at the back of your mind, let it be there that Lord, this blessing will make me get to such good. Somebody shout hallelujah. All the references in the book of Matthew chapter 8. The man that was sick of palsy. This man got healed and he started following Jesus. People are in the book of Luke chapter 13, verse 17, a woman that was bound, bound, bound when she was eating, she also glorified God. In the book of Luke 17, again, from verse 13 to 19, one of the members of my came back and was glorified God. How many times have you glorified him today? The psalmist said it seven times a day. I praise you because of your faithfulness. Seven times. It means that at least seven times in a day, the service will say, Lord, I thank you. If you know what the enemies have planned against you, and if you know how far they have gone because of you, you will know how to be in Some people have consulted millions and authors and powers and darkness because of you. I'm so legitimate. But because you didn't know, and you are still expecting some things to be done in your life, let me tell you today, it is true thanks to God that those things will be done. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for your word here today. Lord, we receive today that spirit of thanksgiving and praise. And as we praise you, Lord, you will prove yourself in our lives and in our camp. In the name of Jesus, I pray for those that are listening to this message the Father. Whatever the situation is, as you are giving praise to God, God will give you victory. Victory over that sickness, victory over that madness. 